What's going on YouTube? Day back again. And guess what? I'm not dead. Um, this is just a quick update to the channel. I have been super busy with work and a couple other things. If you'll notice right over here, I got the desk cleaned off. Got the paint booth all set up. Winter time is coming. It's time to dig down, do some painting, do some uh, heavy duty modeling and everything. So uh, with that being said, I just wanted to kind of give you guys an update of what's been going on and what to expect. First and foremost, Mega Unicorn. Uh, I got it. It's all unboxed. And uh, let me know down in the comment section whether you want me to do a part layout on it or just do a build up on it. I actually have a light kit or LED setup that I ended up ordering um, to customize and light this sucker up and I'm going to be showing you guys how I do that and uh, let you guys see the finished product next up of course it's the 10th anniversary of Exia and double O and that whole series so I ended up picking this up um, I'll tell you about the crinkled up box in the review when I end up doing the unboxing and everything on this but this is the Gunpla Expo uh, special edition it is a completely clear uh, pinkish whole body and everything, but this is the real grade. And, uh, so this is going into the collection of real grades and the Exeus. And as you can probably see over here, there's a theme going on. First, if you look right there, you'll see the Dragon Momoko Exia Avalanche Dash. Got that all built up. And uh, I've been working really hard on doing a full comprehensive review on him, starting from the full Exia that is the skeleton of it and building up the layers. So that has been kind of tricky, but I am super stoked to bring that to you guys. Next, for comparison, I ended up building up another Master Grade Exia. And uh, I'll be doing a review on this one because I don't think I ever actually did one on this channel. So I will be showing you guys that. And over here, last but not least, um, yeah, we have a Dark Matter. There's a reason he's sitting on the shelf. Have another one sitting right up there. So yeah, with the Dark Matter, one of the reasons that I have two of them is one of them is going to be the base for the Infinite Dimensions uh, or Infinite Design um, Exia Avalanche Dark Matter. It's a resin conversion, and I am super stoked to get that. I haven't had too many original uh, castings and everything. Most of them have been recast or... Uh, say uh, GSS, things like that, which some kind of times are kind of shoddy. Um, but this one, I am super stoked. I love the design and everything on it. And I am excited to show that to you beginning to end. But mostly uh, for right now, I am super stoked to do the Mega Size Unicorn, put some LEDs in there and customize that all up. Also, one of the reasons that I've been super busy and working my butt off is um, I have the Perfect Grade Millennium Falcon. It's uh, paid for, and as soon as it gets here in the States, it will be here. I'm hoping to have that up for review and walkthrough um, before Thanksgiving. Should be here end of this month, beginning of November. Somewhere around the 12th of December, I have the full light um, PG Exia coming and I ended up getting that from USA Gundam store uh, and that's where I ended up getting the Mega Unicorn and USA Gundam store actually has this on there I didn't get this from them I got this from Bluefin uh, the original distributors for this but yeah um, I did get the Mega Size Unicorn from USA Gundam store they have this on their website it is in stock they have a cool though I am not a big fan of normally clear kits they do uh, have the uh, master grade uh, Sazabi Verka and it's all in clear except for the frame. It looks kind of cool. It's not my style, but if you're into that stuff, definitely pick that up. It is also a, a show exclusive. Um, other things that I have coming up for review is also the GM Sniper 3, the real grade Unicorn, and I have a couple other things I've just been to chill my mind working on and just snapping up. I have uh, the Gundam Vidar, and uh, so I am going to do a review on it as well. All right, guys, thanks for hanging out with me. I will see you guys all in the next video. Peace out, YouTube.